you know, one of the hardest hit areas seems to be the Casanova area. New Channel 9's Josh Martin is there live for us tonight. He's there with the Madison County Sheriff, Todd Hood. You know, how are they doing as far as the damage down there, Josh? Jim, we have seen a lot of trees down in the Casanova area, and as you can imagine, that has prompted a large response. Joining us now is Madison County Sheriff Todd Hood, who has been see receiving a lot of calls after the storm this afternoon. Sheriff, what can you tell us about what happened, and not only in this area, but other areas of Madison County? Yeah, our 911 center was extremely busy. Uh, so we have probably around 15 lines throughout the county, power lines that are down. So obviously, New York State Gas and Electric is extremely busy. Um, they're out. DOT, all the road crews are out there uh, trying to clear the roads, the county highway department, all the towns and villages too. A lot of chainsawing. You know, here we have a tree that went into a, a historic building at the state park at Lorenzo, and we have another uh, in the, the village of uh, Casanova also. So that this was the majority of our damage in the county. And then the town of Lebanon also took quite a hit with the storm today also. And just a reminder for anybody seeing wires down, we, we say it all the time, but to stay away. Yes, exactly. Great advice. Do not cross the road when the wires are down. You know, turn around and uh, <clears throat> wait for, go a different go a different route on your way home. And Sheriff, you told me before we came on, thankfully we don't have any injuries to report despite all the damage we've seen. C correct, at this time we don't have any, and that's that's great with us, you know, everyone's okay. We can deal with property damage, but uh, injury to people, you know, that that's a whole other story, and I'm, I'm grateful we don't have that. Sheriff Todd Hood with us, Sheriff, thank you for joining okay. us. We appreciate yeah, it. A quick note here at the Lorenzo State Park, the building behind me, built in 1890, had a tree go right through it. Folks are still here assessing the damage now. We'll have more co for you coming up at six o'clock. For now, live in Casanova, Josh Martin, News Channel 9. It's not quite as bad as we just saw in Casanova, but there's also evidence of damage in Auburn. A News Channel 9 viewer sending us these photos. You can see snap tree branches and other debris kind of strewn along what looks like an apartment building there in the city of Auburn.